Hello, Ron Kerr with Houston Seismic talking about perhaps the most fundamental part of seismic processing which is picking velocities. Boy, have I picked a lot of velocities and I bet a lot of you have as well. Data is acquired in the field from look at the top left, the stars would be sources, the triangles would be receivers, so a near offset straight down straight back up, far offset where you have farther distance to travel. It takes longer to go a farther distance, so it takes more time for the far offset. Data is sorted like this with time going down, offset to the right, at farther offsets it takes longer for the reflection to the event at V1, longer for the reflection to the event at V2, just because of the farther distance. If we know those velocities, then we can correct for that farther distance. We pick the velocities, like here in the bottom left. Velocity increases to the right, time goes down, we get semblances along here. Pick, 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 pick. These semblances correspond to the velocities to where we flatten the gather prior to stack. If we pick the velocities correctly, we'll get an event kind of like this in the top right where I say good velocities. Everything's flat and when we add up along here horizontally, we get a nice sharp reflector. Now if you notice down here, this looks a little choppy out here. This is the interval velocity. So when you pick your RMS velocities, the interval velocity will show up simultaneously on your computer screen. Interval velocities are used for depth migration, which is a whole other subject. Talking about time stack and time migration here, which uses RMS. Now, if you look also, you can see this blue dash line where I picked a little bit slower or this red dash line where it picked a little bit faster than optimally. Picking slower causes the events to curve up at farther offsets. Picking faster causes the events to curve down at far offsets. Now I'm ignoring anisotropy here. I'm ignoring dip. I assume everything is flat like in the picture here at the top. So what you want to do is pick the best velocities and if you pick the best velocities you will have a much better product. If you have consulting work or need training, give me an email, please, ron.kerr at houstonseismic.com. Thank you very much.